Hello again. I have washed in a um, kind of a transparent background, even though this is gouache, uh, and even gone into the bird some because that actually helps to unify the subject in the ground. And now I'm going to go paint in, into the bird a little bit. I have mixed up a few grays uh, to play with right now, having fun with the bright purple and the uh, bright uh, the um, the violet, the cobalt, and some of the turquoise over here. Uh, this set of gouache is awesome. It comes pelican. It comes with its own uh, uh, already a neutral gray there, which I've used to mix. Uh, in addition, I've also used the um, oh yellow ochre over there. I'm trying to figure out what colors I'm using. Uh, and so I have some good neutrals in here. One nice thing about the uh, gouache is you can go back and um, over it in a more, more opaque fashion. So... I find interesting is that the um, card that I'm working on is very absorbent, which I thought it was not going to be. So you learn something every day. I have adjusted the drawing after I stopped last time. And corrected a few things. quiet all of a sudden because I got into my zone. I hope y'all are enjoying this. We'll be able to get more of the actual feather textures in in a few, a few minutes. I kind of like, um, this is a photograph of a heron that was sitting on top of a big pine in my parents' uh, pasture where the horses are, and uh, just happened to spy him one day, uh, sitting up on top, and grabbed my, went back to the house, grabbed my camera, and came back and caught this photograph of him, and it's just, I've always wanted to paint it, so there you have it, now I'm going to. So let's see, now let's do a little bit up here. So since the last video, like I said, I corrected the drawing a little bit. Got to check my proportions on a couple things. And let's see, that'll go up into there. And he has a shadow coming up under his little face here. I'll have to get, I'm working on a small surface. The entire card is about five by seven and then um, so the actual image is actually quite, quite small. And uh, I don't normally work this small, so this is a good challenge for me. I'm just kind of filling it in. Soften a few edges real quick, and that'll be it for this step. Yeah, you can see how that behaves a little differently. All right. Great. Until next time.